Hello, everybody. I know you're not familiar with me, but I am Coach Shanks. And today I have Coach Garcia and Coach Mercer. They're going to help us out here for this summer enrichment for high school. So I'll just tell you by myself, I'm a middle school teacher, but really doesn't matter. It's all the same to me, secondary. Hey, we're one. So we're going to have a little fun today. And guys, what I need for you to do is we're just going to just stay in place and do a little bit of uh, jump rope without the jump rope because we're going to use it later. Okay, so we're just going to do a little jump rope. About 30 seconds. We want to get our heart rate up. That's just basically what we're doing is to get our heart rate up so that, again, when we stretch, I always like to tell people when we stretch, I love, it's one of my favorite things to do because I don't want anybody to get injured, okay? So we have about 10 seconds. Get a little of that. All right, after we get to that, we're gonna do a little bit of running in place, just a little bit, just kind of knees up. You don't have no high knees, just a little bit. Again, just a little. Now, if you don't wanna stay in place, you are more than welcome to move around. If you want to stay, it's up to you. Um, just whatever, because I know we have small spaces at home. So whatever, just go ahead. Whatever floats your boat. Again, you just want to move up and down, just up and down, just to get a little movement. All right, go ahead. We're going to jog back to our place. All right. Now, thank you, Coach. I like that. Go ahead. We'll just do a little kick. Kick. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Give us a little ideas here. And if you want to go ahead and add a jump, you can, like your jumping rope. Like the ideas as we come along. I'm a on the spot person. For me, it's like, hey, oh, great idea. So I'm that light bulb person. If you just see me get excited, just go with it. We'll go a few more seconds. Again, I know y'all are high school, so y'all want to get those heart rates up. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we know that their heart rate's up, and I know you know how to check it. Of course, we use our carotid artery. Check. Beating a little fast. Great. Okay. So now what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and stretch. So what I need you to do is take your right arm across your chest, and we're going to hold that. Okay, five more seconds, or oh, four more seconds. Go ahead and switch. We're gonna hold these stretches for about 15 seconds. Okay, the next stretch will be a tricep stretch. Ready? Right hand up. Go ahead, and I'll turn around so that you can see. So what we did was we put one hand up, put it down. Use the other hand to pull tricep stretch. All right, switch for me. Go ahead, tricep stretch again with the left arm. Now you don't have to pull as hard. All right, on this next one, we're gonna do arm rotations going forward, okay? Because we're gonna use our arms for our active, not our active, we are gonna use them, but for our exercises today, we are going to use our arms. So we wanna make sure that we are warmed up, go backwards, yep. All righty, arms out, go to the right. I'm sorry, arms out, feet, ah, feet apart, go to the right. Thank you, how do you do it? You can touch your ankles if you need to, touch the top of your toes, touch the floor. Whatever you need. Remember, you're always only against yourself. Okay, switch sides for me, fellas. <laughs> switch sides. <laughs> you can make me lose my count. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, drop to the middle. Go to the middle. <laughs> I'm not paying you any attention, coach. <laughs> You have to be here to understand the fun that we have. So I don't think I'm just gonna. <laughs> All right, go ahead, squat in the middle, put your elbows in and push. We're gonna, it's, 
We're going to stretch that inside my muscle. We're going to hold this one a little more because Coach is throwing me off. <laughs> We're going to hold this one just a little. Okay, guys, stand up, shake that out till I get back on track here. This coach is throwing me off. <laughs> All right, now what I want you to do is to go ahead and go straight down for me, straight down. I want to stretch those uh, hamstring muscles. Just kind of hang there, low as you can. Also stretching, the lower you go, the more you're gonna stretch those muscles in the back. If you kind of hang, you're gonna kind of be stretching your back, your lower back. All right, stand up for me, guys. Shake that out. All right, we're gonna do a quad muscle stretch. Ready? Right leg. Go. So again, wanna try, you don't wanna be out here. You wanna make sure you have balance first. Look, now I'm off. I like to hold my hand out. Go ahead, we're gonna switch. So we're gonna switch legs. We're gonna do our left. Make sure you're balanced. So if you'd like to balance from the side or from the front, whichever one is easiest for you. All right, hold it a few more seconds. Okay. Go ahead and we're gonna sit down on the floor. <clears throat> ouch, ouch, ouch. We're gonna do a butterfly stretch. Bring your ankles, uh, bring your feet in as close to your body as you can. And if you need to use your elbows to push down, please do so that time. And we're sitting down because we're gonna be using our abdomen muscles as well, so I wanna kinda do a little stretch with that. I'm gonna hold this one for a few more seconds. All right, guys, what I want you to do is I want you to lay flat on your stomach, and I want you to put, we're gonna do the cobra stretch, so go ahead and put your hands beside your chest, and then I want you to reach up. Again, just hold that muscles. Make sure you're breathing through all of this. Yeah, because again, we are going to be using our abdomen today, abdominal muscles. Hold it for a few more seconds, because sometimes we tend to forget that area. So it's really important. Okay, go ahead. We're going to get in the child's pose. Go ahead, lean back. Get on your knees. Sit back. Hands out. And stretch. Remember to breathe, okay? Don't wanna hold our breath doing this. You always wanna to remember to breathe. We got about 10 more seconds. All righty, guys, thank you so much. Go ahead, gather yourselves, shake it out as you're coming up. Okay, so, do y'all need a water break? No. All right, you good? Okay, you good? Okay, so our activity for today is going to be Dice Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> you want a water break? <laughs> Let's see, can... That good. Okay, so now, can y'all see that? Okay, so what we're gonna do, I've written on the, this board here, the fitness activities that we're gonna do. We have jumping jacks, sit up, squats, jump rope, push up, and then line hops, okay? Uh, of course, we know how to do a jumping jack. Um, the line hops, I'll just go ahead, we're just gonna lie over the line, just like that, okay? Um, everybody else has a different name for them. Guys, what I'm gonna do is I'll set these here so that you'll know. Okay, so one is going to be jump, jumping jacks. All right, and then two is gonna be a sit up. Three is a squat. That's kind of broke down. Four is a jump rope. You gotta push up, and then we we'll just say hops. Okay, so one of you will get the pleasure of rolling the dice, and the other one will get the pleasure of rolling the other. Now, the red dice <laughs> is going to be the number that they select. So if they roll a one, they'll be doing jumping jacks. Coach Mercer, he's going to get a chance to roll the blue dice, which now has different numbers on there. So whatever number he rolls, that's how many they're going to do. Okay, so we'll do this two times around. So the first time, Coach Garcia will roll the red dice. And on the second time around, 
Coach Marshall will roll the way that they'll switch. All right? Ready when you are. Five push ups. <laughs> 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 Let's see. Four. Okay, so they have four push-ups. All right, so they will have four push-ups together. I'll get back in here so you can. Both of y'all are gonna do them at the same time. Yes. Yes. So now I'm standing in the way. So go ahead. And if you want to modify it, you can. Whichever one is best for you. They have four. Okay. So now they'll get that back. Hey, All righty, so they'll roll again. So whatever they roll, they anything. So they will see. If you want to, or you can just roll it through. We'll go through it. Four is jump rope. Okay. How many you have? Twelve. Okay. So if you want to use a jump rope, you can. If you don't have one, you can use the air. All right. Ready? Go. They will have 12 of those to do. All right. Y'all switch. So they're taking turns. <laughs> One. Okay, jumping jacks. <laughs> so they're over here discussing how many they need to do. They have four jumping jacks. Yeah. So they have four jumping jacks, and they're going all the way up. They're not doing the half jumping jacks. All right, go ahead. So how many have we done? Four? This will be the fourth one. Third. Third. This will be our fourth one, okay. So this is round one. We'll go through it six times. Well, three squats. Twelve squats. <laughs> All right. So you can either do just regular squats or you can do squat jumps. Whichever one you want to do. Your choice. Yeah. So they're going to do 12 of those. And then they have two more. And then we'll take a quick water break and come back, OK? And I know I'm not right in this, so I'm going to get out of the way so you can see them doing the activity. All right. Who's doing what? I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all figured it out? Four. OK, jump rope again. And? Two. Two. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, y'all switch it. I forgot. <laughs> All right, one more. We're going to take a water break after this one. Oh, wow. Five is push up. <laughs> Four. Okay. <laughs> And they make this look so, so easy. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go take a quick break before we go to round two. All right, stay with us, get your sip of water, please. Be right back.
Welcome back. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to round two. So again, just make sure you have some dice. Uh, you can pick those up at the dollar store. They don't have to be the big dice. This is just something that we have here at Access at School. So again, use what you have. If you have you know, dice on your phones, whatever it is that you have, use it, okay? Um, so now we're gonna go to round two. If you want to in round two, you can double everything, but we're not gonna do that. That's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep everything in singles or however it is. We're not gonna double, but if you want to, each round you can add more because I know that y'all are in great shape and hey, it is what it is, all right? So I'm just gonna be honest with you. Do what you do this. All right, you ready, guys? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so we're gonna start over. Three. Okay. Eight squats. <laughs> so normally what you could do, go ahead, is if you want to, you can double those if you would like. So instead of having eight, you can have 16. So again, it's whatever you need to have. Uh, if you're by yourself, just do what you can. If you have a partner, you can take turns. Uh, it's up to you. Okay, we're gonna roll again. So now they have five more to go. Okay, so each round will consist of six exercises. Okay, five push-ups. <laughs> two, okay, good. So again, if you felt the need, two plus two, if you wanna double them, that'll be four. Okay, there y'all go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all switching? <laughs> All right, so now they have four more to go. Okay, six on the line hop. 10, so you just jump across, just like that. So either way you want to. Yeah, watch that rope, coach. Okay, go. Okay, they're just doing line hop. They're just jumping, jumping from side to side. That's all they're doing. And they had 10 of those, okay? Good, again, you could have 20 if you double it or triple it for 30, all right? That was what, round three? Okay. Let's see what they get. Push-ups, see this time around they getting that double push-up. <laughs> Eight, okay. Yeah, they, got, they make this look so easy. Easy schmeasy for them. Look at them, straight backs. <laughs> Gotta love the coach. That's what I'm saying, coach, great form. All right, let's see. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> you just, now he's jinxing himself. But again, it's random. You don't even know. So how many did you have? Oh, push up. So this is all random. I'm not selecting it. So whenever you do something like this, it's just whatever comes up. And so even if your teachers decide to do this activity, it's just whatever comes up. It's not a punishment. It's all for your fitness. All right, last one, and we're done with this. And we'll take a quick water break and get ready for our next activity. Anything but a five, let's go with a one. one. Got them a one? What's the one? Jumping jacks. Two, okay, two jumping jacks. That. All right, good job guys. So we're gonna take a quick water break and I'm going to clean up and bring out the next activity. Just be right there, just we'll be right back. back thank you for joining us again and not walking away so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a just kind of mellow it out and do a little bit of a challenge with the cups okay and the objective of the game is for you to flip your cup and your cup to land mouth wide side down okay so if you're sorry to go start that way and you want it to land like so okay with the wide side down when it does, you're going to move your cup, I mean, your, the ball. And then if coach does the same thing and he flips it again, he's gonna move it. The objective is to move the ball to your end of uh, 
the gang or towards you, okay? So either way, you want to bring the ball toward you. So if Coach is over here in the red, he wants to move it three spaces over, he would win. If Coach does it, he wants to move it over three spaces, vice versa, okay? But sometimes it could be here, and then we have to move it back one, okay? So if it's here, Coach, and he has one more, and you flip it, move it back, he gets it, he moves it, okay? All right, you ready? <laughs> like I said, this is a little fun part of the game. Just get you a cup, get you some cups. Uh, you can have straws, whatever it is. You have spoons, and you can use a sock if you need to. Doesn't matter. It's just as long as you set your game up and you have a place where you're able to flip. A table is better, but hey, didn't have one. <laughs> All right, you ready, guys? Go. Okay, you got to be gentle with it. It's a... It's a like a finesse. Okay, coach, I see you. He's a first timer. He said he's never played this before. I wouldn't know that. <laughs> okay, good. So all they're doing is they're staying low and they're trying to flip their cup. Again, if you, oh, I almost coach. So again, if you're at home and you have a table, like a card table or anything that allows you to set up the game, you don't even have to have that much space. All you want to do is just make sure that you have some cups. We use red Solo cups. Please don't use glass. I don't want anybody's mom or dad mad at Coach Shank for telling you to use a cup. So make sure you use something like a plastic cup that will flip. You can also use the bottles. The bottles flip well, too. Uh, but this is just something I saw that's a little fun. All right, so Coach is ahead right now. Coach Garcia, so Coach Mercer has to catch up to him to make sure that he does not win. If Coach gets... Game over. Coach got that flip. All right. Good job, guys. So we're going to do it again. Does it matter what color cup you have? Y'all good? Good. good? Okay. <laughs> All right. Ready? Go. <laughs> got to stretch your fingers. Oh, oh, almost, almost. Let's see. Move that. I like that on my side. <laughs> it's right here. You got it? Okay. All right, Coach, you got this? Look for it. He got you. All right. Okay, so right now, Coach Garcia is ahead. Earlier we did this. It was, it was the late funny. Comeback. You like the late comeback? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I like to make it exciting. All righty. Okay, we're going to try it again. Here for the rookie. Gotcha. Ready? Go. Oh, okay. He's in the game. <laughs> Oh, I see Coach. Coach Garcia, I think he does this game at home in his sleep or something. <laughs> I think Coach Garcia does this in his sleep. <laughs> okay, so now, um, let's see. We're going to change it up. Let's make it a quick little, just a little relay, just to change it up just a little bit. So I'm going to move it. Not a relay, I'm sorry. Just more of a little bit of movement, whatnot. So what you'll do is we'll start at the red lines. When I say go, You'll come down and you'll flip and you'll just go back and touch the line. Okay, just a little bit of a, uh, is that in the middle? So you flip, you come flip, come back, touch the line, go back and try to flip. And we'll just do that. You had a big red line. Give him a fair event. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to. All right, you ready? Go. All right, okay. Got to go back and touch. Now, for those of you, like I say, for my high school athletes, you love to work out, you want more of a challenge, this is a good way to get in some, um, some lines, as they call them, or suicides. Really wouldn't be a suicide, more just lines. Just a way to kind of slide back and get back. All right, Coach Garcia's got one in. All right, come on, Coach Mercer. So you want to do is just touch the line. Almost, it just changes it up just a little bit. Not a lot of fitness. Gonna burn a little bit probably. <laughs> burn a little bit. So we could stay, but we just wanna make sure if it was a relay, if you had more people, oh, 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 just stay in the middle. So if we had more people, you could take turns, but we're down to just two, so it's okay. You just get a little bit of a workout. Almost, guys. Oh, I see it, coach. Coach is going, you coach. I think this is his game. This is Coach Mercer's game. Oh, this is Coach Mercer's game. So All righty then. I see we got a game now. Let's see. Oh, he got it. 
Thank you. All right. Great <laughs> job, guys. I love it. We had a good time. Again, only thing we used were cups, and I just happened to have red and blue, and I just so happened to have some lines. You can use paper strips, whatever you have. Again, make it easy on yourself. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a cool down because, again, they have done quite a few exercises as well as they did a little bit of running so their heart rate is up. And I want to bring their heart rate down. So you can take any of these games that you played, you see on TikTok, and just make them fitness related to you and your family and enjoy yourself and have so much fun. And if you want to, <clears throat> you can bet dinner on it that night. Whatever <laughs> floats your boat. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to cool down. Ready? We're going to go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths. Uh, we'll do about four breaths in. Inhale, and then we'll do four out. Ready? Go. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Let's do it again. Take a deep breath. One, two, three. Four, exhale, one, two, three, four, okay? Go ahead. Now, I wanna go ahead and do that stretch again for your sumo position squat. Push your elbows in. Well, use your elbows to push your legs out so that you can stretch the inner thigh, okay? Sometimes we tend to forget about that as coaches. We tend to forget about doing that part because we're always used to stretching our quads and our hands. All right, guys, I want you to go ahead. Now that you're in that position, lean to your left. Again, we're still stretching that inner thigh because they did a lot of squatting and bending over today. All right, go ahead, switch sides for me. Hold it a few more seconds. All right, got to tell you about your foot. Turn it towards you. All right, go ahead, stand straight up. And I want you to just kind of hang. Stretch that lower back a little bit. Hang for me. Just, just hands don't even have to touch the floor. You should feel it in your lower back. All right, go ahead and try to touch your toes or your ankle. Now we want to go ahead and pull it, feel it in that hamstring in the back. All right, go ahead, lean up. All right, shake it out, guys. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. I want to say thank you for joining us today. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you again next week. Uh, again, I want you to remember to stay safe, stay active, and be healthy. <laughs> so thank you once again for joining us. Until next time. Bye-bye.